Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all might hear my leather shop, and uh, I got a few packages came in while I was on vacation, and I thought I'd come out here, and uh, before I got started, show you a few things come in. And I don't normally do this, y'all, but uh, probably the reason why I'm going to show you uh, one thing here or two, but let me go ahead and show you here. Pretty much know what is in here. Doing leather work, y'all, you go through a lot of dye. And there's so many different ways you can dye stuff and different type dyes. But, um, uh, let me show you that right there. Um, use a good bit of this right here. This is a light brown pro dye. And, um, when I started out right here, I uh, just have this little small bottle. And I just take the bigger bottle and pull that dye in there and uh, show you all that. So don't don't throw your bottles away when you get through. If you want to say try some out, see if you like it, just buy your little small bottle. And uh, then you can uh, say buy the uh, bigger dye bottles. Let me see. I can't remember how much you pay for this, y'all. But I want to say, just say about 10 bucks for this right here and it's only like four ounces and this is i think around about 32 ounces so it's like eight times as much this probably will cost like about maybe 40 just say about 50 bucks for this right here between 45 and 50 bucks so you save you a lot of money there uh, buying your bigger bottles of that All right, y'all. Y'all can see right there. This is some uh, brown uh, zippers. Brass zippers with a brown, dark brown cloth. And you're wondering, hey, Justin, what you, what you gonna do with these zippers right here? Well, y'all, it's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna leave y'all in suspense there. When I get, uh, when I do this uh, project, you know, I'm gonna get started and I'll bring y'all along and kind of show you there. I don't know if I'll show you what I'm making, what I'm gonna make, but anyway, uh, I'll be using them brown zippers in it. And uh, in this other box here, y'all got me some leather. And uh, got a pretty good deal on this leather here. This first time I've ordered leather from this company here. It's uh, American Leather Direct. And uh, I, I didn't want to cut into the leather, y'all. Let's see how they got that packaged up here. gift Christmas time y'all yeah. all this tape on it gosh that just open that thing up stop playing around I'm getting good time. and y'all this is my garbage can <laughs> when I get leather and stuff in I just use these boxes as my garbage can I got one right over here need to throw away Direct, y'all. I believe this is going to be my new uh, supplier for leather. Hopefully, anyway. 
we'll see how that Hey y'all, I'll be back in a minute. It's gonna take me a while to get all this unwrapped here. <laughs> all right, y'all. I got this uh, paper off of here. They had it wrapped real good. Let me show you right here what uh, came in here. This is a nine ten ounce uh, natural uh, tooling strap. It's an economy uh, leather, and, and what makes it economy is it's gonna have some flaws in it, uh, like um, cattle. The branded marks could be on it. Could be uh, scratched up here and there so it's, it's gonna be leather that you know you can't you're going to work around some of the uh, Imperfection in leather or you're going to include them in perfections in uh, Whatever you're making and sometimes, you know, that's fine Depending on what kind of look you're going for or what you're trying to make, you know, sometimes it makes no difference at all But anyway, y'all got a good deal on it and a good discounted price and um, So I'm just gonna roll some of this off here so you can kind of see uh, what it looks like so you can see right here you see some uh, markings and stuff on it and uh, like I say dye cover up a lot of that and so it's not gonna make that big a difference and uh, throw some here you see right here some uh, rough spot here and a rough spot here Give you an overall look there you can actually see some stretch marks and stuff uh through the uh leather right here and that's gonna be natural that's just that's that's just part of the uh uh steer itself and uh some people say oh that's nice that's organic that's organ is this organic leather <laughs> hey Josh. hey y'all y'all some people say is this organic i say it's organic as you ever gonna get y'all this is like real this not this is not this is not make believe leather. This is organic. <laughs> it comes actually comes from the uh, cow, you know, self. You know, it's it's not it's not you know it's not it's not being processed in in uh, make believe uh, fake meat lab, y'all. It's actual real leather, y'all. It's not made out of peanuts and not made out of uh, bamboo sticks and whatever else, y'all. This is actual real leather, y'all. <laughs> But anyway, uh, let me show you a little bit more. I'm taking a look at this too, y'all, as I go along. So knocking everything over here, y'all, because I, I don't have enough room to run road this here on this table. So I said, I'm going to start using this other table in this uh, workshop in here. But overall, y'all, uh, I mean, it's a nice piece of leather. Like I said, I, I can see some little minor imperfections here and there. It's, it's nothing that, you know, I can't work around or include into the projects and different things I'll be making there. And that's that's the thing, you know, you remember, you know, when you're buying leather, you know, you kind of know what you're going to be making, you know, buying it for. So, um, so overall, y'all, uh, I'm happy with this leather. Uh, it's going to make a lot of good knife sheaths. Uh, I do like this 9-10 ounce uh, because it gives me options um, for knife sheaths stuff like that. It's going, it's going to work good. And uh, let's see, let me show y'all the back of here a little bit here. The green side of the flesh. It don't look too bad. It's pretty tight down here. Right here around this probably like the belly area. It's a little bit looser and stuff. But overall, y'all, uh, it's, it's pretty good. So this is a American Leather Direct, and uh, also they sent me a, uh, give me some wholesale pricing on my uh, leather I'm gonna be buying from now on. And uh, like I say, you know, if you're looking just say for a simple thing like knife sheaths or uh, something you don't want to spend like the you know high dollar for, you know, leather that you may not really need, you know, like number grade one leather or whatever, this might be a good option for you right here. Uh, normally I think this leather here um, now this is actually a discounted price off of normal normally uh, I think it's about 50 I got this about 50 bucks cheaper than what uh, it usually costs but this had more a little bit more imperfections in it that's why I bought it just uh, just see how it, how it is but uh, my other leather I'm gonna buy from them 
Yeah. Of course, I'm buying you know their better leather, top gray leather for different things. And uh, but I just want to uh, give this a try since it's a good deal. Y'all could pass it up on that. And uh, one of the other places I've been using leather, you know, they got good leather. They're they're having problems right now, you know, getting it from the uh, tannery. So I said, well, I I go ahead and give these folks a try. I seen somebody else on. Uh, let me see who was that Bruce I think his name is Bruce Cheney uh he uh he recommended them so I I said well I'll give him a try so uh, it's good fast shipping and everything and uh so let me get this out of my way and I've got one more thing here I'm gonna show you here that I got yesterday I'm gonna have to put together there and uh I'll be back in a little bit Picked this year, yesterday from Harbor Freight Tools. It's a, a one-ton Arbor Press. And uh, I never bought me one of these, but uh, I've got different uh, ideas what I'm gonna need it for and use it for. Uh, one thing I'm gonna use it maybe sometimes to do some stamping on my leather. The other thing, uh, making, uh, I make some ammo keychains and um, I don't think I got any out here right now. I got I got to make some, put some together. So I'm gonna use this right here to uh, actually uh, press my bullet in the uh, brass casing. And so many different things, y'all. You can use a arbor press for. There's my handle. out here. Natasha, I dropped you. Better get out of the way. I'm chocolate this stuff. I'm making a mess. Let's see what this is here. That's a little rough. I'm going to have to sand that down, y'all. I'll make that a little bit, sand that, make it a little bit nicer there. made on the bottom y'all this is just hollow on the bottom here got some oil and stuff when we get it cleaned that's the next thing you might clean this up real good make sure it ain't got no oil you definitely want to get oil and stuff all over your leather whatever you're making there sand this up here some all right y'all uh actually let me shut up close here i actually got two Right here, got two uh, little grease uh, nipples right here that you can actually uh, squirt some grease in here to grease every once in a while. So that's a that's pretty good. So let me get this put together, y'all, and I'll bring y'all right back because I'll be honest with you, I don't know how to put this thing together. I'm not to read the instructions. Wait a minute, I'm a man. I don't read the instructions. I know how to put this thing together. All right, y'all, I'll be back in a little while after I read them instructions. Well, y'all got it all put together. It wasn't hard at all put together. I didn't really think it would be, but I didn't I didn't want to make myself look like I didn't know what I was doing on camera, so I just did it off the camera. But I'll just explain to you real quick, it ain't nothing to it. You just basically have this uh, shaft right here. You can pull this ram up and just engage your rack right here, your handle and everything, and uh, just put this collar on here and uh, tighten it down. And uh, then you got these four bolts right here that you adjust to get your play out of it there. So that's going to be adjustable there. 
Also, you have this right here on the side right here. If you want to lock your handle in position, you just got a lock on it. And uh, these uh, little grease fittings right here. I just put some uh, layer of alamite grease on the inside here. I don't really see point putting grease on out here trying to grease that. It's really not under you know a lot of you know pressure and stuff. And as you can see right here, you get you do have some play in there. So it ain't like it's like extremely tight tolerances anyway, but I did put a layer of grease on both sides here. But uh anyway this should uh well one thing I think about doing y'all I seen some people taking this handle off here and putting a longer like a handle like maybe two feet or something like that on it give a little bit more um, you know leverage there trying to uh, do some different stuff but i'm not sure if that's going to really be needed for my application but uh, i appreciate y'all coming along here i just want to show y'all uh this new tool here i got and uh like i said i'll be putting that to use today i'm probably make some ammo uh key rings and uh i may show you a video of that one of these days and uh just want to kind of show you this new tool i got here and uh, usually i don't ever show y'all the uh, things i get you know if i think it's interesting enough i might show you but this just your old standard arbor press right here and uh been putting it off for a while so you know what i stopped there by harbor freight coming in yesterday and i said we'll see about if they got one i'm going to get me one because uh i know i need one tasha and she said she said, Jesse, you think you ought to do something new for the shop? <laughs> she didn't say that, y'all. That's just probably what she is thinking, though. But uh, anyway, I appreciate y'all coming along. And I appreciate y'all watching the videos. And uh, if y'all would, if y'all like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, just skip through it and find somewhere along the way that you do like it. And give me a thumbs up, and I appreciate it. And as always, friends, my family years, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. See how this thing works here, Tasha. See this here? See this right here? I'm gonna show you how that works. You just put you something up on there like that. Let me adjust this in there. Just put something up in there. You can pull down. Oh! Woo! Cut it, Tasha. Cut it. Ah.